yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we will be creating a new flutter application over here so let's go to our uh, flutter and then the qubit i'll add a new let me open a new terminal over here and uh, let's create a new flutter project over here and i'll just make use of a flutter create and i'll create a project so that will be of a let's create a to do app over here to do app and we will make use of the qubit over here and uh, let's hit the enter and it should generate a new flutter project for us and let us open that particular uh the flutter project so cd to do underscore app and i'll open it with the vs code so i'll just say code dot and that should open up in the vs code over here and let's close all of this and let me open up the window over here and first of all let's go to our uh, demand.dot file so let's go to the lib and let's go to demand.dot file and let us remove all of the unwanted command from here so we don't require all of this and uh, let's remove this one from here too and here too so we just need to clear it out and let's clear it out this one too from here and also we'll be clearing this one and here too and let's also clear it all of this from here and once we have cleared this one let's go to the uh, pubspec.yml file and we need to add some of the dependencies that we are going to use so let us also clear all of this two over here and i'll clear this one from here and uh, let's also clear out the comment from here let us make it a bit cleaner over here and also let's clear out, out this one over here and i guess that should be fine and uh, let us open up the our uh, favorite pub that dev and uh, let's open up the uh, window over here so let me log in over here and let's open the uh, pub that dev and let's search for the some of the packages over here and first of all we will be searching for the uh, flutter underscore vloc package and uh, let's make use of this one we will be using a qubit and uh, let's go to the installation and let's grab this dependency from here and once we have that let's go to our uh, dependency section over here and let us add it over here and i'll also copy the link so that will be a uh, good to have over here because in case in your team somebody doesn't know about it so he can go over here and read the link from here right so he can read the documentation uh, he can know the things from where you get that right so it's good to have a link pasted over here and the next is we will also grab the most important thing that we will be using that will be of the http library so http because we will be connecting to the api so we will require the http over here you can also use the do for uh, this course i'm trying to use the http over here but if you are familiar with the do you can also go with the do and i'll just copy the dependency from here and uh, let's put it over here again and uh, then i'll also grab the link from there and we need to paste it over here so let's grab the link of this one and uh, let us paste it over here and that should be good and we will require the another dependency over here that is to do the dependency injection so we will require some uh, service locator so for that we will be using uh, get it so let's go up to the top and let's search for the uh, get underscore it it get it so we'll require this one to do some dependency injection or the service locator and uh, let's go to the uh, installation and let's grab all of this from here and let us go back to our pubspec.yml file and let us paste it over here 
and let us also grab the link from here so let's grab the link and let us paste it over here and once we have that the another most important uh, library or the package we are going to use will be our uh, go router so that will help us to navigate from uh, one screen to the another screen so we need to navigate to the different screen over here so let us go and search for the uh, package that we will be using for our navigation that will be of the go router over here and uh, let's grab the go router from here and let's go to the installation and let's go to the uh, copy this particular dependency let's go back over here and let us paste it over here and also let us grab the link from here and uh, let us go back over here and let us paste that link over here so once we have uh, this that will be good and also we will request some of the other dependency over here and that will be first of all we'll require the uh, uh let's go and take a look i i guess we'll require intel package over here because we will be doing some of the formatting for our date as well right so let's go back over here and let's go to the pop the dev and let's search for the intl package and this will help us for the uh, localization or the internalization as well as for the formatting of the date numbers and all of the stuff so let's grab this one from here i'll go to the installation and let's grab the dependency from here and uh, let us grab it from here and let's go back to our popspec.yml file and let us paste it over here and let me grab the link from here too so once we have the link let us paste the link over here and i guess that we are good to go and after that we will require i guess a few more that will be of the freezed so we will require a freezed uh, package to generate our data class so let's go back over here and uh, let's grab the dependency from here that will be of the freejed freezed and uh, let us get the uh let's make use of the freeze annotation first of all so i'll go to the installation and grab the freezed annotation from here and let's go back to the pop.spec yaml file and let's paste it over here and we need to grab the link so don't forget to grab the link from here and now let's go and put it over here and uh, once we have that we require the phrase now let's go back over here and uh, let's grab the phrase from here and let's go to the uh, installation so I'll grab the phrase from here and I guess we don't require it on our uh, dependencies or the production dependencies we can also put that one on our dev dependency which requires only on our development so let's grab the link from here and let us paste it over here and let me paste it over here and once we have that and I guess we will also require the uh, JSON annotation and let's go back over here and let's search for the uh, json annotation so let me go and search for the uh, json uh, that will be of the annotation uh, json annotation right json serialization okay let's search for the json serialization first of all and let's grab the uh, serialization this will help us to serialize the json because we will be connecting to the api and we will be getting a lot of the json object from our api so i'll put it to the dev dependency because it's mentioned on the dev dependency over there and let's paste it over here we will only require the ring our development phase so just copy that the link and paste it over here and let's make this one as a comment and another thing is that we will require the annotation over here too so json annotation don't forget to grab that one so uh, json annotation let me grab that one and let's search for this 
and let me search for this one and once we have that let's go to the installation from here and uh, let's go and grab this one we need to paste it on the dependency itself so let's go on to the top and let's paste it over here and uh, let's go grab the uh, link from here just grab this one and let's paste it over here and let us put the uh, comment over here and finally we will require one more that will be of the build runner because the uh the the fridge the package that we are using will require a build runner to run some code generation so let's grab the build runner so build runner will help us to generate the code basically we are using the fridge package so it will help us to generate all of the required code for us so this will be also on our dev dependency so let's go and paste it over here and let's grab the link from here too and once we have the link let's paste it over here and let us do the comment over here and i guess that should be the one that we currently require for our project but later if we need some more then we will be adding it over here and let me try to make it a bit better over here and i guess that should be fine and let me put this one to the top i guess let me put it this is by default so let me put it on the top so i can remove this comment from here and now let us to, uh, take a look what we have added over here we have added the uh, flutter bloc package that will help us to do the uh, uh, maintenance of our state so we need to maintain our state so this will help us for the state management and we have a http package or the library that will help us to connect to our rest api that we will be connecting and we will require a get it as a service locator so we need to create a different object our repository our service classes so we need to locate that so we will use a get it as a service locator or the dependency injection and then we will have a, our go router over here to do the navigation so we will require a go router to navigate from one screen to the another screen and we'll require an intel package for our uh, to do some uh, like the date formatting or the number formatting later on and then the phrase annotation will require for us to create our data class so later we don't want to create the uh, data class write our own logic to create the string of that object a copy with so all of those so freeze will help us to do that one and then we have the json annotation uh, in case when we uh, are receiving some object or the json object from the api is not that match with the field from our uh, model or the the phrase class that we have created so we can uh, use the json annotation to map a different key with our data classes and then we have the phrase that will help us to uh, create the phrase uh, class right and then we also have the json serialization this works together with the json annotation so the phrase and the phrase annotation works together and the json annotation and the json serialization works together so we need to add that both of them and then the finally we have the build runner build runner will help us to generate the code so later when we create a class using the phrase or when we anoint the class with the phrase we need to generate some class right so we will be using a build runner over there so i guess that will be uh, all for this lesson and in this lesson we just added a dependency and created our fl a flutter project over here and on the next lecture uh, let us do something more interesting and i guess we'll be using a material tree over there and we'll be configuring a material tree theme till then have a great day